When teaching others about the next generation science standards, one of the most important things we'd like people to discover is that these ideas are not entirely new or foreign concepts. You can address this by focusing on the science and engineering practices early on. This is a good place to start because the practices map well onto what K-12 teachers already know about doing science. The goal of this activity is to introduce participants to the eight science and engineering practices of the NGSS and give them a chance to build definitions of the practices in their own words. This activity is an opportunity for participants to connect the NGSS to what they already know about what scientists and engineers do. Participants then do a brainstorm and jot down as many verbs as they can think of that describe what scientists and engineers do. Words like question, collaborate, design, test, or write. Participants then sort these verbs into the eight practices. Any verbs that they feel don't fit into the practices can be placed in the missing category. To wrap up, the whole group has a discussion about how the verbs were sorted into the practices. We might ask, was this process easy? Was it hard? What verbs were common to many of the practices? And which practices had the most or the least verbs? In this introduction to the practices, Participants have ample time for their own thinking and for discussing and revising their ideas with their colleagues. We've learned that it's not hard for teachers to fill up their posters describing what scientists and engineers do. We all have some ideas about what doing science looks like. The practices are just a framework for organizing these ideas and a consistent vocabulary for describing these processes. Participants are often relieved to see that they already knew a lot about what scientists and engineers do. Participants also see that many verbs, like collaborate, test, or research, show up under many of the practices. This is evidence for the fact that the practices are interrelated, and in the real world, none of them operate in isolation. If you'd like to do this activity, be sure to read the write-up. This sorting activity is also a good lead-in to the practices circus, which demonstrates classroom activities related to each practice.